All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, Koholayim La, Albanawa, Yahawa, Bahashim, Yahawah Shai, Bahashim, Ha, Rakachardash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Akium out there on the highways and the byways. Salutations to the hopeful elect. Salutations to you speckled birds, you Israelite foreigners. And Shalom to the Aqua sitting and listening in silence as the scriptures say to do so. Okay, this is your brother Amoth, your eyes from Yahweh. All right, coming at y'all again with another beautiful lesson. Uh, you know, Jake, man, this, this, this is not entertainment, man. You know, I notice it on other brothers' pages and on, and on my channel too, man, that, you know, Jake will be uh, quick to uh, click on videos that have a uh, rebuke on Eve or Jake getting judged. But when it comes to, to, to knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, feeding you, you know, wisdom or the scriptures, man, you, you'll get a, a very low uh, uh, views, man. Even when you put up the new moon, man, you'll get a... Uh, uh, they don't, they, they won't even view that, man. You know, but when it comes to uh, correcting the, the so-called nigger woman and uh, uh, bringing forth, you know, some some laughter, whatever the case may be, because we got a sense of, you know, we jake, man. We got sense, uh, uh, a sense of humor, man. You know, we, uh, you know we, we sometimes we say funny stuff, you know. And sometimes, you know, I will I will put certain things in my, in my production to, you know, to make you laugh and to, you know, just to uh, uh, add with the edification, man. But that's not the point, man. We're not here for entertainment, man. We're here for edification, man. Through the power and spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. So let's go ahead and get these scriptures, man. Because we need to be taking this seriously, man. This is not entertainment. <coughs> Alright, this is Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 15. And I will give you pastors according to mine heart, which shall feed you. With knowledge and understanding, man, and that's right, man, and that's what the true sincere Akim is out here doing, man. We out here feeding you that knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. The words of Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, letting it be known what it is, man. Okay, period, man. We're feeding you his 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 ways, his the, what he, what he uh, uh told us to do, man, through the Spirit. Okay, from from Elder Apostle to Har on down, man. You know. This is Romans, Romans chapter 12, verse 2. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, man. We need to be transformed by the renewing of our mind, man. Okay? Because when you come into this truth, you're changing yourself, man. You're not, you're not bringing that uh, feminist spirit into this truth. You're not bringing that negative uh, uh, shit into this truth, man. Salah for the language. But you're not bringing that into this truth, man. You're changing yourself, man. And be ye not and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of the Most High, man. Okay, so we're not out here to uh, to 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 uh, uh, to uh, please our flesh, man. We're out here to please Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, to seek salvation, not to be entertained, man. You know. Oh, let me click on this brother's video, man. He he be he be having me laugh and left and right. But are you are you uh, acknowledging the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding that he's feeding to you, man? Are you only clicking on those videos to get a good laugh or just to just to get entertainment, man? This is not entertainment, man. There's other sources for entertainment if you want to be entertained, man. This this has to do with your salvation, man. Judgment, man. Period, man. But you know, Jake, man, because this right here, man, why why do you think Yahweh about Shem Yahweh Shah said this? This is Jeremiah. Jeremiah 35, verse 15. I have sent also unto you all my servants, the prophets, rising up early and sending them, saying, Return ye now, every man from his evil way, and amend your doings, and go not after other gods to serve them. And ye shall dwell in the land which I have given to you and to your fathers, but ye have not but ye have not inclined your ear, nor hawkened on to me, man. So a lot of you jakes, man, you know, you got these scoffer jakes out here that'll just only come on your videos to scoff, you know, show hatred. You know, but everybody has a lot in, in this movie, man. But are you taking this serious, man? Are you examining yourself, man? 
Or are you just here for entertainment? Real talk. Are you, are you here to get edified, to come back to your heritage, man, with all truth and sincerity? Or are you, are you here just, to, just to, for entertainment, man? Are you here just to try to get women? Are you here just to get a recognition, to, 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 to get a, a acknowledged amongst, you know, Israel, man? What is it, man? What is it? And like I said, man, you got a lot of these uh, niggas out here that's, that's scoffers, man, so let's get that, man. Uh, this is uh, 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 3. Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lust. And that's right, man. A lot of these simpletons, a lot of these niggas, because that's what it is, man. They'll come on, on, on the brother's platforms just to scoff, just to clip out uh, certain portions of brother's videos to act like they, they have the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding to, to so-called expose brothers, man. And none of these dudes go out to the highways and the byways None of these dudes do con uh, con uh, continuous uh, uh, lessons, man. They don't do nothing but just scoff, man. Just scoff, man. You got a lot of these uh, niggas like that, man. Well, just literally come on, come on, brothers, live stream, just sit in the back and just try to find something where they can uh, uh, discredit the, uh, the brothers out here doing the work, man. Okay? Those are entertainers, man. Real talk, those are entertainers, man. Cause at the end of the day, you're not uh, you 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 claim you have a problem with us, but you know you, it's really not us, man. Cause we're not speaking our own words, we're not speaking our own thoughts, man. This this is your problem right here. All right, this is Matt, Mark Salaki, Mark chapter eight, verse thirty-eight. Whoso therefore shall be ashamed of me and of my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, of him also shall the Son of Man be ashamed when he cometh in the glory of his Father and so like when he cometh with the glory of his father with his, with the holy angels, man. So you're not ashamed of us. You're ashamed of Yahweh Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Wai, Yahweh Shai. Because we're not speaking our own words, man. We Everything we speak is through these scriptures, man. Everything we speak is through this, man. Okay? Everything, man. So if you offended, you you offended by Yahweh Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Wai, Yahweh Shai, man. And you're going to be judged for that, man. Because you think you're coming up against us. You come, Matter of fact, let's go ahead and get that. Go ahead and get that. All right, this is 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 8. He therefore that despiseth, despiseth not man, but the Most High, who have also given unto us his Holy Spirit. Let's get one more. Let's get one more on that. All right, this is Luke chapter 10, verse 16. He that heareth you, heareth me. And he that despiseth you, despiseth me. And he that despiseth me, despiseth him that sent me. So like I said, you're not despising us. You're despising Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah, because Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah blew, uh, blew that life into us, man. Let's jump to Jeremiah. Because like I said, man, this is not entertainment, man. This is not entertainment, man. This is Jeremiah chapter 1. Jeremiah chapter 1, starting off at verse 4. Then the word of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai came unto me, saying, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. Then said I, Ah, Yahweh power, behold, I cannot speak, for I am a child. But Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai said unto me, Say not, I am a child, for thou shalt go to all that I shall send thee. And whatsoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. Be not afraid of their faces, for I am with thee to deliver thee, saith Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Then Yahweh put forth his hand and touched my mouth, and Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai said unto me, Behold, I have put my words in thy mouth. So we are speaking Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai's words, man. So if you're taking this for entertainment, and not taking this seriously, man. Then do you think your Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is going to take you seriously, man? Do you think he's going to he's going to save you? He's going to give you a hedge? He's going to protect you? No, man. He's going to mock you like you mocking him, man. Cause you ain't taking him seriously, man. Cause we out here speaking his words, man. We're not speaking our own damn words, man. What's wrong with you niggas, man? This is not a game, man. This ain't no fucking joke, man. 
keep on taking it for a joke, man. That just, that just gives us more, more, uh, uh, more clarification, more assurance that we out here doing the right thing, man. That we, that hopefully, out of one rotters out, we got a spot in that chariot, man. On the first go around, man. Keep on telling you, Jakes, man. Y'all niggas just don't want to listen, man. Let's go to St. John, the last chapter. You know where I'm going to. St. John 21, starting off at verse 15. So when they had dined, Yahweh Shai saith on Shalaki. So when they had dined, Yahweh Shai saith to Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? He saith unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He saith unto him, Feed my lambs. Not entertain my lambs, feed my lambs. He saith to him again the second time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? He saith unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He saith unto him, feed my sheep. No, break dance. Pop, lock, and drop it. Feed my sheep. He saith unto him the third time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Peter was grieved because he said unto him the third time, lovest thou me? And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things. Thou knowest that I love thee. Yahweh Shai saith unto him, feed my sheep. Not entertain them, not pop, block, and drop it, not, not make jokes, not, not, not out here to make you laugh, to, 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 to fill your, your belly up with this living water, man. This knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. The words of Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai. Feed my sheep, man. Let's go to Proverbs, man, because like I told you, man, you, you, want, you want to mock Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, he's going to mock you. Let's go to Proverbs chapter 1. <clears throat> Salakia. And we could read this whole chapter, but we're going to read verses 27 to 33. Proverbs chapter 1, verses 27 to 23. When your fear cometh as a desolation, and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. For that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, and this, this, this is talking to you niggas that, that scoff, that's only in, only in this for entertainment, etc. They would, they, would they would none of my counsel, they despise all my reproof, therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices. For the turning away of the simple shall slay them, and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. But whosoever hearkeneth unto me shall dwell safely and shall be quiet from fear of evil, man. Take heed to the warning, man. Okay, so if you're going to despise your Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, if you're not really in this with all truth and sincerity, you look at, it, you look at this as entertainment and you scoff, etc., then he's going he gonna to judge you for that, man. He's going to bring your worst fears upon you. Let's jump to Acts real quick, man. Cause we, you know, we 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 putting everything in this, man. We giving you everything, the bitter and the sweet, man. All right, this is Acts chapter twenty, starting off at verse twenty six. Wherefore, I take, I take, so like you. Wherefore, I take you to re to record this day that I am pure from the blood of all men, for I have not sunned to declare unto you all the counsel of the Most High. Take heed, therefore, unto yourselves. And to all the flock over the which of the Holy Ghost have made you overseers to feed the church of the Most High, which he have purchased with his own blood. So what's supposed to be feeding you this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding? Not entertaining you, man. To give you the bitter and the sweet. Everything, man. Not, not just a little bit. Not just a little bit here. Everything, man. Period, man. Because this is what we doing, man. Let's jump back to Jeremiah. This is what we're doing, man. This is literally what we're doing. This is Jeremiah chapter 28, starting off at verse 7. Nevertheless, hear thou now this word that I speak in, my, in thine ears. Nevertheless, hear thou now this word that I speak in thine ears and in the ears of all the people. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. And this is going to be happening again, man. Armageddon, World War III, pestilence, diseases, famine, famine of the word and famine of the food, man. And the only thing that's going to be able to have you 
to, to, to withstand everything. Isaiah 33 and 6, wisdom and civility shall be the, uh, let's read it. Shit, let's go ahead and read it. Isaiah 33, verse 6, open up right to it. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the civility of thy times and strength of salvation and the fear of Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shah is his treasure. That's why this is not a game. This is not a joke. This is not entertainment, man. This is this is this is real life, man. Okay? This is not a game. So let's let's close out here, man. The point's made. Let's close out here. All right, this is 2 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 5. Examine yourselves, whether ye be in the faith. Prove your own selves. Know ye not your own selves, how that Yahweh HaMashiach is in you. Except, except ye be reprobates, man. Take heed to this, Israel, because we are not here to entertain you. Yeah, we have, we, we jake, man. We have senses of humor. We might make you laugh. We might put something in the production to go along with the lesson and to make you laugh. But this is not no fucking entertainment, man. This is real life, man. Okay, we are, we are out here seeking out our salvation, man. We are, out, we, are, we are doing what we were called to do, man. We are working to be chosen, man, to, to, to be selected, to be on that chariot on the first go around, man. This is not a game, man. This is not entertainment. This is real life, man. Okay, so take heed to this, man. Real talk, man. Okay, this ain't a joke. So, Adawan Ratazai, you were edified. Shalom.